is a project engineer with INDOT working on the repavement of Highway 41. US 41 is very busy and Hassler has had many close calls with distracted or impatient drivers. We were out working in a passing lane and you kind of take for granted that nobody's going to come in the zone and try to go around behind you through that turn line. Somebody whipped around to pick up and shot off full throttle down that center turn line and I started to step back. But some people aren't lucky enough to just have a close call. Two years ago, I worked a, a double fatal uh, at the 17 mile marker that was caused from a work, work construction zone and a driver that was not paying attention. Um, he ran in the rear end of a, uh, of a van and killed two small children. Not paying attention to a construction zone isn't the only fatal situation that can happen on a highway. There's one uh, tow truck driver that is killed every 60 days in the United States from people failing to move over. And I have worked personally accidents where that has occurred. Construction workers, towers, law enforcement, and anyone else working on a highway deserves to have their safety considered on your daily commute. We're here to do a job and we want to get home safely and uh, carefully. And, uh, you know, we're out here, we're not trying to be an inconvenience. We just want to get out there, have the right zone set up and be safe and uh, get home at the end of the night. Now, when you approach a construction zone, follow the signs. Put down your phone and focus on the road ahead of you. If you're traveling on a clear highway but notice someone pulled over in the right lane, try to safely merge over to the left. Reduce your speed if you can't move over. ISP will be monitoring construction sites and will be handing out citations to distracted or speeding drivers. Now, keep in mind that a construction zone speeding ticket can cost up to $1,000. Mike. All right.